When my distinguished predecessor delivered his Fulton speech exactly 50 years ago, he journeyed hither by train in the company of the President of the United States. On the way, they played poker to pass the time. And the President won $75, quite a sum in those non-inflationary times for an unemployed former Prime Minister. <laughs> but in view of the historic impact of his speech on American opinion and subsequently on United States foreign policy, Sir Winston Churchill later recorded that his loss was one of the best investments he had ever made. <laughs> I did not travel here by train, nor in the company of the President of the United States, nor did I play poker. I don't have the right kind of face for it. 